Welcome everybody. Welcome back to Homestead Park. And today I am outside in the greenhouse. As you can hear, it is raining outside. And I am sitting out in the greenhouse, you all. And I'm going to talk to y'all about this greenhouse because actually, I'm quite surprised at something. But I'm going to share that with you in the one year update for our cattle panel greenhouse, okay? Now, you all, to get into today's video, yesterday I did a video on seed starting trays. Buying good quality seed starting trays, are they worth the investment? And in my opinion, if it's in my budget, it is absolutely worth the investment, right? If it's in your budget, it may be worth the investment for you as well, right? We talked about so many options for starting seeds but in today's video I want to talk to you about a completely free method <laughs> of starting your own seeds completely free I'm not talking about toilet paper rolls because that's that's free <laughs> or paper towel holders or anything like that I'm talking completely free as long as you in the neighborhood is completely free okay the rain is picking up now you all I have had some of these trays for now this is going to be the third year some I've had for two years this will be the second year but in any case I still have them okay and this is a good option for you to be able to start your seeds at no additional cost okay now let's start with these These, right here, are my six pack of trays that I got from Lowe's. These are just the Bonnie trays that they uh, come with their six packs. If you buy six packs then, or if you don't buy them and you just go to Lowe's, they will give you these. Because some of the starts, for whatever reason, they die, won't make it. If they have some of these available, they will let you have them if you see the guy at the Bonnie the Bonnie truck guy a lot of times because they pick up the plants that are dead right and they take them back to wherever the Bonnie location is and they compost them but sometimes they have these on the truck that they don't use or don't need they're just gonna get rid of them if you ask them and they have them he'll give them to you okay so now these completely free but they're sitting inside of my 1020 that i got from bootstrap phone okay now i'm going to be using these i have to sterilize them first i have to sanitize them and um if you like post it in the comment section below i'll show you how to sanitize your seed starting trays if they've been used before. If they're brand new, you don't have to worry about that. But if they're used, if they're from the previous year or what, or if you just used them, you know, a year before or whenever, you want to sanitize your trays. And if you'd like to see how to do that, post it in the comment section below and I'll be happy to show you how to do that, okay? So I do have to sanitize these first, okay? <laughs> but are you okay he all wet <laughs> you like I just want to go in the house but anyway you all I'm gonna be using these this season reason being look at the size of those cells look at that just look at that nice deep wide cells okay these are going to be excellent for starting my tomatoes in. They're going to be excellent for starting cucumbers in. They're going to be great for starting squash in. These deep cells like this for tomatoes, in my opinion, works really good. And plus, it'll keep me from up potting them so quickly, right? Because I have used these before. I've used these 128s before. Yes, I have. And yes, 
I had to up pot those babies like with the quickness because they grew so fast, okay? So I'm not gonna be using 128s anymore to start my tomato seeds in, all right? I'm not. I'm gonna be using those deep six packs right there. And actually, it's, I wish that Bootstrap Farmer would make, if y'all are listening, Bootstrap Farmer, I wish they would make something this deep in a six pack form to go in those 1020s that would be good for tomatoes and things of that nature. Something like this, if not a little deeper even, you see, or a little wider even. It could be a four pack, right? Instead of a six, it could be a four. But I wish that Bootstrap Farmer would put together something like this. If they haven't already, I don't think I've seen it. I know they have the little individual cups, but I don't want those. I want the entire tray so that I can just pop it down in my, my 1020. I don't have to worry about individual cups falling out. I like this better. So hopefully they will do something like that because I would love to have those, okay? But these are what I'll be using to start my tomatoes in and a few other things in going forward instead of the 128s. These 128s, they have their purpose and their use, trust me. But for my tomatoes, no. <laughs> uh -uh. <laughs> now you all, another option that's absolutely free are, you okay bud? Are these. These are also the little Bonnie plants that you can, or Bonnie uh, cups that you can get from Lowe's or Home Depot, right? And you can get these to start your seeds in too. Even these would be good for starting your larger crops. I use these to start my loofah seeds in because my loofah, they get so big quickly, but they're not quite ready to go in the ground yet. So using cups like this, or even squash, right? This would be great. This is what I use something of this size for my loofah, all right? Now, one thing I wanna show you about these trays right here, the little uh, containers that hold these cups. Let me take them out. Now, these containers right here, see that? These are also great, and I don't have one out here, but these are also great for putting in those red Solo cups. If you start your seeds in red Solo cups, trust me, they work better in something like this than a flat, okay? So if you're wanting something to hold, Jax, come from over there. If you're wanting something to hold those Solo cups, these eight, what is this, two, four, six, eight, ten? We know those 10 packs, that 10 cup holder, it works good, y'all. Look at that. Look at how deep that is. These work great for your red Solo cups. Now, you have to watch out for these because these are similar, but this is not what I'm talking about, okay? This is not what I'm talking about. These right here have shorter sides on the end, okay? See? And your red Solo cups can fall out of those. And they also have this indentation at the bottom that pushes out in the center. I don't know if you can see it, but it makes your cups do this. So you don't want these, all right? You want these. So these work well for the Bonnie cups that you can get free. Or if you wanna buy the red Solo cups, these work excellent for that as well. <laughs> all right y'all last but not least is my personal favorite and it's free <laughs> look this right here got these from Lowe's three years ago I think three either two or three years ago but it's been a minute and I love these Okay, I got them from Lowe's. These little cups right here, y'all, look at how deep those are. 
I can use these for squash, lupa, tomatoes, peppers, whatever. They're free. And the tray that holds them, this tray is solid. It's pretty good. It's a hard plastic. And this tray right here will outlast these because it's such a tough plastic, right? Look at that. Let me see if I can turn it so you all can see. Look at that. Yeah. This is a nice hard plastic that I've had for a minute now that we got from Lowe's. And like I said, this is my favorite because it's strong and it lasts a long time. It's not as tough as the Bootstrap Farmer plastic, but it is very strong though, all right? And it does a good job of holding these trays. Yes, it does. So, you all, I hope that helps because I know we're starting seeds. We're in the process of getting all of our seeds up and going. We all are, right? I have more seeds to start. When I get inside, I gotta get out of this rain. <laughs> Thank you all so much for supporting the seed store. All of your orders are out as of today. Any orders that came in over the weekend are shipping out today. And if you're placing orders in the future, please be certain that you put the correct address in so that we don't have a delay in shipping your items, okay? Because I do not go in and modify your address. If you put your address in and UPS accept or USPS accepts it, I ship it unless you tell me otherwise. Or if USPS says there's a problem with the address, then I'm going to email you and say USPS said that this address is incorrect, this number doesn't exist or or something like that and I'll email you directly and then you all you get back to me pretty quick and we make the correction and you get your orders, okay? So be, so be sure you put in the correct address because as long as UP, USPS accepts it, I have no reason to think that the address is incorrect and I'm going to send it to wherever you tell me to send your package, okay? So let's definitely do that so that there won't be a delay in you getting your seeds because I'm trying to get them out quickly because, you know, we just don't want to miss a certain window for starting seeds depending on where you are. I want you to get them in a timely manner, okay? So the rain is picking up. <laughs> Me and Bud going to have to make a run for the house. <laughs> But that's going to do it, you all. Thank y'all so much for watching Homestead Heart. And don't forget, one of, one of our viewers said, you got to tell us this. You got to remind us, okay? <laughs> Remember to hit that notification bell so you don't miss any videos that we upload to our channel. Also, subscribe to our channel. If you're new, we would love to have you here at Homestead Heart. Okay? Thank y'all so much for watching Homestead Heart. We're going to get out of here. I had to bring the goats back in because it's going to be raining like this and their pen isn't quite finished, so they're in the front of the greenhouse. We're going to talk about them and what they did to my greenhouse. <laughs> Peace and blessings to each and every one of you. I'm going to see y'all in the next video. Ready, bud? We got to get out of here.